Yo, what up, YouTube? It's Bryce, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a deck profile of Exodia Dragon Turbo FTK, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm gonna explain the cards and what they do, in case you guys don't know, because they're a little bit obscure as far as uh, cards that are commonly used in the meta. So here we go. First off, we got uh, Exodia's head and his body parts. Um, but importantly, play a Duelist League Exodia head because I think it's important that you have low rarity on these so that you don't draw them, uh, hopefully don't draw them when you're cycling through the deck and instead you draw them at the end just off of Super Rejuvenation. Next card is one Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Uh, you can pitch this for trade-in or you can get it by playing Toon Table of Contents or you can do both. Uh, three Blue Eyes White Dragon. You can pitch this for trade-in and you also grab it with White Stone of Legend. Uh, White Stone of Legend, you can pitch this for Cards of Consonants and it gets you a Blue Eyes to your hand. Uh, three Flambeau Guard, this is also fuel for Cards of Consonants. Upstart Goblin, this means you're playing 37 cards and not 40. Uh, cards of Consonants, you ditch either a White Stone of Legend um, or Flambeau Guard. And you draw two cards, so I play three. Three trade in. Uh, you ditch a blue eyes or blue eyes tuned, draw two cards. Three dark factory of mass production. Uh, this allows you to discard your Exodia pieces and to grab them back. Uh, basically, you can discard them for hand destruction and not worry about them being in the grave. And it also lets you get back a blue eyes tune or a flame bell guard if you need one for cards of consonants or trade in. Uh, three tune table. This thins the deck, and you eventually end up with a blue eyes tune in your hand. Uh, two hand destruction. It's good because it says discard, so they count for super rejuvenation. And you also get to draw two cards. Uh, two reload. Uh, this can help you get off a dead hand. Um, and also, it's great in the end phase. You chain it after you've drawn for super rejuvenation. So you have a bunch of cards in your hand, and if you happen to not have all of Exodia, you can chain this, and you shuffle your hand into your deck, and you draw all the cards, and you hopefully do then end up with Exodia. Uh, two Magical Stone allows you to discard stuff, which is good, because it matters for Super Rejuvenation, and also lets you get a spell back. Uh, Pot of Duality allows you to dig a little. It's really kinda necessary in the deck, don't try to play it without it. Um, and then the nuts of the deck, 3 Super Rejuvenation. I'll go ahead and explain what this card does. Uh, during the end phase that it's activated, you draw a card for each dragon type monster you discarded or attributed that turn. Uh, the way it works is, you're, uh, you're going off, you're going through your combos, right? And you have like, say, three, ja or three dragons in the graveyard or so. You play Super Rejuvenation, uh, it counts those three dragons and any afterwards. Uh, so then you're going to draw for every dragon you discarded that turn. And uh, the idea is that you discard a bunch of dragons, you even recycle them and sometimes discard the same dragon multiple times. Uh, so yeah, you just end up with like 10 cards you're drawing off this. And then if you draw another one in the end phase, you can chain it in the end phase and draw 10 more. And then you can chain another one in the end phase and you'll just draw pretty much your whole deck. And you can chain reloads to it in the end phase and draw more. But yeah, that's how the deck's supposed to work. Um, probably going to do a demonstration video real quick of how to go through the deck a little. Just me playing it. And then uh, also, I've heard basically that this card has gotten awful rulings and it's kind of like the deck doesn't work in real life. My friend took it to a locals once and we played it and it worked fine. He topped and like people were nice about it and understanding. But I've heard like um, no one knows how this card works. Like the way it should work is since you can play it and count the dragons you've already like had in the graveyard if you're playing it not in the end phase. Some people try to argue that if it's in the end phase, you can't count those dragons, and that's just illogical. Why can you count them one time and one or not the other? But yeah, maybe we're wrong about that. Basically, this card enables an FTK, so judges are going to hate on it. Um, but yeah, that's how the deck works, and uh, 
If you're going to try to play it in real life, I'd ask ahead of time how your judge is going to rule on stuff, because you will get screwed. Uh, but it works in the video games, basically, so uh, if you want to take the deck there, you can, you know, win. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and run through the deck real quick for you guys. Alright, now I'm going to do a quick playthrough of the deck, just to show you guys how it works a little. And uh, I'm going to shuffle, so that I'm proving, I guess, that I'm not stacking. And here we go. Um, so we're going to assume we're going first. Play duality. Now we'll take the cards of consonants. I'll play the cards of consonants by pitching a flame bell guard and draw two. Then I'll play hand destruction, pitching exodia and a guard to draw two. Um, oh shit. I'll play dark factory for the plus one. Get back these two. I'll activate Rejuvenation so that it's active. <clears throat> and I'll play Reload, Reloading 4. And draw 4. <clears throat> play Hand Destruction, pitching Left Arm and Blue Eyes. Draw two, uh, play upstart, draw one, play dark factory to get back um, that left arm and that blue eyes, I guess. And I'll end my turn and draw three. Oh, shit. There we go. Head, right leg, left arm, right arm, and left leg. So uh, yeah, there you guys go, I guess. That's a quick playthrough of the deck. Actually, I got pretty lucky right there, but uh, usually you have to go off a little more. But uh, yeah, you guys get the idea. So uh, if you like the video, go ahead and thumbs up. And if uh, you like all my videos, it'd be really cool if you guys could subscribe. So thanks, guys. Peace.